Mtazamaji ni karibu tena kwa nasi asubuhi. <coughs> Tunaendelea na juma la maombi hapa kanisani Bukongo. Leo ni siku ya sita tukielekea maisha kabisa ya mikutano hii takapohitimisha kwa chanjizo kubwa kwa ajili ya kumalizia kazi ya Bwana kwa ujenzi kanisani hapa. Nikusiku nilea kuungana nasi na kualika ndugu jamaa na rafiki wala mbao hawakweza kupata nafasi kuungana nasi tuko kwa tukianza ni kutanoa. Wala uungana nasi tukia tukielekea katika meesho. Soma la lewa linasema sadaka imebeba hatima yako. Sadaka imebeba hatima yako. Tumisho mungu mwendili simagote ya takuja kwa jili ya somo sikuwe ya lewa. Kwa hivyo, tuniandai wati kwa hivyo ya kusikiliza somo hini. Inai kuletea matanga za hayo, mesara mazigo ni kuwaliki katika hibada ashbuhi ya leo. Leo, today, tunaitaji tujifunze somo. We have to learn one lesson. Ya kwamba sadaka, that the offering, imebeba hati mayako. Holds up your destiny. Imebeba future yako. Holds up your future. Imebeba kesho yako. Holds up your tomorrow. Imebeba hatima yako. Holds up your destiny. Kesho yako. Your tomorrow. Naomba niulize swali. Let me ask you the question. Nani kati yetu hapa? One, 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 who is among us here? Anajua kesho nini kitatokea. Knows what will happen tomorrow. Nani kati yetu hapa? Who among us? Anajua ya kwamba baada ya masama tano Knows that after five year hours Kutokea sasa From now Jambo gani litatokea What will happen Ebu sikiliza Just listen to this Kitabu cha Yakobo sura ya ne In the book of Jacob chapter four Kitabu cha Yakobo ni James Ah yes, James, 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 James Kitabu cha Yakobo sura ya nne James chapter 4 Mstari wa kuminatatu mpaka mstari wa kuminatano Verse 13 through uh, 14 It says Mstari wa kuminatatu mpaka wa kuminatano Yes it says Ndiyo Haya basi Haya basi Ninyi msemao Ninyi msemao Leo au kesho tutaingia katika mji fulani na kukamu Leo au kesho tutaingia katika mji fulani Na kukaa humo mwaka mzima Na kukaa humo mwaka mzima Na kufanya biashara kupata faida Na kufanya biashara kupata faida Walakini hamjui yatakayo kuwako kesho Walakini hamjui yatakayo kuwako kesho Uzima wenu ni nini? Uzima wenu ni nini? Mana nini mvuke uone kanao Mana nini mvuke uone kanao kwa kitambo Mana nini mvuke uone kanao kitambo Kisha utoweka Kisha utoweka Bada ya kusema buwana kipenda Badara ya kusema buwana hakipenda Tutakuwa hai na kufanya hivi au hivi Tutakuwa hai na kufanya hivi ama hivi Biblia inasema The Bible says Ni nani ajuwae kesho Who knows about tomorrow Wakati mgini sisi wanadamu Sometimes we human beings Tunakuwa na kakibuli furani We normally have certain proud Ya kwamba ah That ah Nitafanya biyashara leo I will do the business today Nitafanya biyashara na kesho I will do the business tomorrow Nitaka hapa mwaka mzima I will stay here one year Nitapata faida I will get the profit Biblia nasema The Bible says Acha kujidanganya Don't deceive yourself Hakuna anayejua hati mayake No one knows his destiny Hakuna anayejua kesho No one knows tomorrow Hayo tu ni maneno yako Those are your mere words Unajipangia Just plan for yourself Ya kwamba hii biyashara That is business Nitaka nayo miaka mitano We say we did for five years Bada ya miaka mitano After five years Ah, nitaiyamisha I will just see a transfer it Itakuwa imekua kubwa We have already grown up Biblia nasema The Bible says Sisi ni mvuke tu We are just the new deal Unao pita kitambo The favor which goes forever Hatu jui kesho Don't know about tomorrow Hatu jui kesho Don't know about tomorrow Hatu jui kesho itakuwa Don't know how tomorrow will be Ujui kuna kuna mtu Have you ever not seen there is a person Mwaka ubi ya shara yake ni nzuri This year his business is okay Mwaka unao fata biyashara inakufa kabisa The next year the business declined totally Ujui kuna kuna mtu have you not ever seen there is a person Anachukua mkopo bank Takes a loan from the bank Anaanza kujitamukia Started to speak on him herself 
huu mkopo huu this loan this loan nikiuingiza kwenye mradi huu if i put in this project na kwambia nitapata faida kesho i tell you tomorrow get a profit anashangaa is surprising mkopo unakufa the loan dies na mradi unakufa and the project dies unajua ni kwa sababu gani no why hatujui ya kesho we don't know about tomorrow Unaweza ukapata hela leo. You can get money today. Kesho mama yako akaugua. Tomorrow your mother becomes sick. Hela yote, the old money ukaipeleka kwenye matibabu. Just take for treatment. Yaani mwanadamu, yeah, the human being hajui kesho. Does not about tomorrow. Ila kwa sababu ya kiburi. But because of proud. Ndio hii kitabu cha Yakobo kinatuambia. That's why the book of James tells us. Hebu turudie tena. Let's repeat it. Yakobo sura ya 4. Eh, eh, James chapter 4 mstari wa 13 verse 13 it says inasemaje haya basi haya basi ninyi msemao ninyi msemao leo au kesho tutaingia katika mji fulani na kukaa leo au kesho tutaingia katika mji fulani tukae mwaka mzima na kufanya biashara na kupata faida na kufanya biashara na kupata faida walakini hamjui yatakayokuwa kesho walakini hamjui yatakayokuwa kesho uzima wenu ni nini uzima wenu ni nini maana ninyi ni mvuke uonekanao kwa ninyi kitambo ninyi ni mvuke uonekanao kwa kitambo kisha hutoweka kisha utoweka badala ya kusema bwana akipenda badala ya kusema bwana akipenda tutakuwa hai umenielewa vizuri kumbe therefore hatima yako your destiny kesho yako your tomorrow haijengwi na mawazo yako it knows it is not built with your feel your doubts inajengwa na Mungu wako it is built by your god anayejua kesho yako the one who knows your tomorrow ni Mungu is god Unajua you know kama mzazi as the parent unatamani watoto wawe na maisha mazuri to have good life ndio maana kuna wazazi wengi leo that's why there are so many parents wanawatafutia watoto wao mashule mazuri they find it better schools for their children lakini wanasahau but they do forget ya kwamba kesho ya mtoto wako but the tomorrow of your child haijengwi na shule unayomtafutia by the school you are find for him inajengwa na Mungu unayemweka ndani ya mtoto wako by God whom you put inside of your child hujawahi kuona kuna watu you have never seen that there are some people wanasomesha watoto kwa gharama kubwa that they, they spend much money to educate their children wakitegemea kesho watoto watawasaidia expecting tomorrow the children will help them lakini cha ajabu but it's surprising enough watoto hawana msaada kwa wazazi wao no help to the parents ni wewe kukutana na mzazi mmoja i met with one parent kijana wake ni tajiri sana his son is very rich tajiri sana very rich lakini hana msaada kwa mzazi wake but has no help to the parent kwani matajiri mlioko hapa uh, how many pay teacher here wazazi wenu waliangaika na nyie kiasi gani how did they, your parents did totally about you so walikuwa wanaangaika kwa ajili ya kesho yenu just is someone for today tomorrow ni nani kati yetu hapa anamthamini mzazi wake who is among us here is valuing his parents wewe nyumbani kwako you you are homeless kuna umeme there is electricity lakini kwa mzazi wako but your fathers hakuna umeme no electricity wewe cho unachotumia you the toilet you are using ni kile cho cha kukaa is just a toilet modern one which you sit lakini mzazi wako but your parent anatumia cho cha shimo use that uh, uh, pitch wewe nguo unayovaa the cloth you just wear ni ya gharama ya juu is very expensive lakini mzazi wako but your parent anavaa nguo zilizo chanika chanika wears the torn clothes wewe hapa you here unakula vyakula vitatu milo mitatu you eat three meals per day unakula breakfast you have kifungua kinywa unakula chakula cha mchana uh, you get lunch unakula chakula cha usiku you get dinner bado unaenda mahali na marafiki zako but still you go a place with your friends mnakaa na marafiki zako you sit with your friends mnachoma mbuzi you just uh, uh, take the bus unatumia laki la moja you spend 100 1000 lakini mzazi wako at your parent akikuomba 50000 when he asks you 50000 una unamjibu nini you how do you respond to him unajua ni kwa sababu gani you know why mzazi wako your parent aliwaza 
he thought ya kwamba kesho ya huyu mtoto wangu the tomorrow of this child of mine itakuwa nzuri will be better ataniokoa he just saved me hakujua ya kwamba he didn't know that pamoja na jitihada nazozichukua kwa ajili ya huyu mtoto despite of this effort i take to this child lazima nijue tena i have to know again ya kwamba kesho ya mtoto wangu the tomorrow of my child natakiwa kuiunganisha na Mungu wake connected with his god kama nisipoiunganisha na Mungu if i want to connect it with god nitakuwa na mtoto i will have a child asiyekuwa na furaha kesho who has no happiness tomorrow kuna wazazi wangapi leo there are how many parents are there today wanasomesha watoto they educate their children wakijua ya kwamba huyu mtoto atasoma knowing that child will start lakini baadaye but later on mtoto anakuwa mlevi the child becomes a drunkard unajua ni nini you know why sisi wanadamu we human being tunajiongelea leo na kesho we talk about ourselves tomorrow and today tunaongelea leo na kesho we talk about today and tomorrow tunasahau ya kwamba we forget that mwenye kesho the one who possesses tomorrow ni mungu mwenyewe is god himself ndio maana kitabu cha mithali that's why the book of proverbs mithali sura ya 27 the book of proverbs chapter 27 mstari wa kwanza uh, verse 1 proverbs 27 verse 1 uh, biblia ina sema the bible says ndio Usijisifu kwa ajili ya kesho usijisifu kwa ajili ya kesho kwa maana hujui atakayozaliwa na siku moja kwa maana hujui kitakachotokea baada ya siku moja mwingine na akusifu ebusikiliza just listen katika dunia hii on this earth kuna watu wengi there are so many people wanajisifu kwa mali walizonazo leo the boast for the wealth they have now. ya kwamba zitawasaidia uzeeni that they will help them in old age yani kwa sababu ya mali because of the wealth wengine wamekuwa na kiburi others are proud ya kwamba hizo mali that this wealth zitanisaidia kesho will help me tomorrow sikiliza listen please usijisifu na kesho don't boast about tomorrow kesho uijui You don't know tomorrow kesho uijui you don't know tomorrow kuna mzee mmoja hapa Mwanza there is one elder here in Mwanza naomba nisimtaje jina lake let me not mention his name lakini wengi mtamfahamu but most of you will know him alifia ndani he just died inside nyumba iliungua the house got burnt akafa humo ndani died inside the house na hela zikachomwa moto and the money was was burnt akiwa humo ndani na hela being inside with the money nadhani mmemfahamu i think you have understood him usijisifu na kesho don't boast for tomorrow kesho yako iweke mikononi kwa Mungu you tomorrow put it in god's hand unajisifu na hiyo gari you proud of that car Unashindwa hata kuwapa watu lift. You fail to give people uh, the lift. Unadhani hiyo gari itafika kesho. You think that car will reach tomorrow? Unaweza ukatoka na hiyo gari leo. You can live with that car today. Ukafika pale mkolani. Reaching there at mkolani. Hiyo gari kaingia kwenye mtaro. It goes to the ditch. Wewe na gari wote mkaisha. You and the girl the car you did. Kesho yako. You are tomorrow. Iko mikononi kwa Mungu. It is in God's hand iweke kesho yako put you at tomorrow mikononi kwa Mungu in God's hand usijisifu na kesho don't boast for tomorrow ni mwai kona kuna watu as there some people hata wana wadharau watu wengine they just despise other people kwa sababu amesoma because they have got high education anadhani elimu yake thinks maybe his education itamsaidia kesho we help him for tomorrow naomba nikwambie leo let me tell you today kama elimu yako if your education hujaiweka mikononi kwa Mungu you have to put it in god's hand hiyo elimu that education inaweza isiwe na msaada kesho it can't have the help tomorrow kesho tomorrow ni ya Mungu is for god ni ya Mungu is for god kama mkristo as a christian unapaswa kufanya nini what do you want to what you supposed to do unapaswa kufanya nini what do you should supposed to do isaya 45 isaya 45 isaya 45 isaya 45 mstari wa 11 uh, verse 11 Isaiah 45 verse 11 mstari wa 11 verse 11 it says Biblia inasemaje 
Bwana mtakatifu wa Israeli. Bwana mtakatifu wa Israeli. Muumba wake na muumba wake. Asema hivi. Asema hivi. Niulize habari ya mambo yatakayokuja. Niulize habari ya mambo yatakayokuja. Mambo ya wana wangu. Hebu sikia. Uh, Bwana asema hivi. Uh, God says this. Niulizeni. Ask me mambo ya kesho. About tomorrow's things. Niulizeni uh, mimi. Ask me. Mniulize. Ask me kabla au japanga mipango yako before you plan your plans muulize Mungu kesho itakuwaje ask god how tomorrow will be kabla hujapeleka mtoto wako shule before you take your child to school muulize Mungu kesho yake itakuwaje ask god how will his tomorrow be kabla au jaanza biashara fulani before you start a certain business muulize Mungu kesho hii biashara itanifanyaje ask god how this business will do hujawahi kuona kuna watu You have never seen there are some people who are and they became rich ndio wakaliacha kanisa when they part from the church hamjui kuona kuna watu you have never seen there are some people walivyofanikiwa when they got succeed ndio wakadharau wake zao wa kwanza they despise their first wives hamjui kuona kuna watu you have never not seen that there are some people walivyofanikiwa when they got succeed ndio wakaanza kuwa na dharau they start to have the scorn hamjui kuona kuna watu you have never not seen there are some people walivyofanikiwa when they got succeed ndio wakaanza kuwa na kiburi and they start to have the proud unajua ni kwa nini you know why hawakumuuliza Mungu. Then they ask God. Mungu anasema niulizeni. God, God says that ask me. Mambo yatakayotokea. What will happen? Niulizeni mimi. Ask me. Sikilizeni vijana. Listen you youths. Si kila mtu unayemuona. Not every person whom you see. Hajaoa au kuolewa. Mtumari or get married. Anafaa kuwa mwenzi wako wa maisha. This has to be your cup of life kabla au yaenda kwa huyo mtu before you go to that person nenda kwa Mungu kwanza go to God first unaweza ukamuingiza msichana kwenye nyumba yako you can just see, take a, a girl to your house akaribu kesho yako kabisa that destroy you are tomorrow complete kabla au jaoa before you get married mambo yako yalikuwa yanaenda vizuri your things were moving smoothly mambo yako yalikuwa yanafanikiwa your things were being succeed ukamuona tu msichana once you see a lady ukasema huyu acha ni muingize ndani. Let me take this one to my Kumbe huyo msichana anaenda kuharibu mahusiano yako na ndugu zako. Anaenda kuharibu uchumi wako. Kabla aujafanya chochote. Before you do anything. Muulize Mungu. Ask God. Kesho itakuwaje? How will tomorrow be? Mungu naomba msaada. God I ask your help. Naomba msaada. I ask your help. Naomba kujua. I want to know. Kwa sababu wewe ndiye unayejua kesho. The one who knows about tomorrow. Naomba niongee na wazazi. Let me talk with the parents. Usimpeleke mtoto wako shule. Don't take your child to school. Kwa sababu ile shule inafanya vizuri. That school does well. Naomba nikwambie leo today, kabla au jatafuta kesho ya mtoto wako you find that tomorrow your child, nenda kwa Mungu kwanza uulize go to God and ask him ya kwamba sawa shule hii inafanya vizuri school does well. Che, mtoto wangu nikimpeleka hapo take my child there, atakuwa na nidhamu atakuwa na maisha mazuri sikilizeni wazazi the, the kuna vitu viwili There are two things parents. Kuna elim, there is education na kuna akili. And there is a mindset. Understanding. Understanding and knowledge. <coughs> kuna elim, there is education and the understanding. Na uelewa. Mtoto anaweza kuwa na matokeo mazuri. The child might have a very good results. Lakini asiwe na akili. But he has no understanding. Akafauru can he, can he pass examination akaenda paka chuo kikuu go to university lakini hana akili but he has no understanding hana akili has no understanding usichukue mkopo don't just take the loan kabla hujamuuliza Mungu before you ask God Mungu ndiye anajua kesho God the one who knows about tomorrow Mungu ndiye anayejua kesho God the one who knows about tomorrow kesho yako you are tomorrow iko mikononi kwa Mungu it is in the hands of God Mimi ndio hapa mifano I will give you the examples Mara kadhaa most of the time ninapokea mialiko mingi sana ya injili I do get many invitation about the gospel hata hapa buongo even here at buongo wameniita mara nyingi sana they have called me for many times mara nyingi sana many times 
lakini ilikuwa sijafika but i haven't yet reached here wazee wa kanisa mara kadhaa church elders most of the time mchungaji wenu mara kadhaa you are pastor most of the time wameniita hapa buongo they have called me here at buongo mara nyingi most of the time ninapopata miariko when i get these invitations huwa napata miariko mingi sana i do get many invitations makanisa mengi wanatamani niende kuhubiri many churches are me to go and preach there huwa naweka hiyo miariko mikononi kwa mungu i normally put those invitation in god's name alafu namuuliza mungu then i ask god wapi pana uhitaji wa mimi kwenda kwa sasa where am i needed to go for now wapi pana uhitaji wa mimi kwenda where am i needed to go now for this time mimi siendi kwenye kanisa i don't go to the church kwa sababu mmenialika because you have invited me naenda kwenye kanisa i go to the church kwa sababu mungu anataka niende kwa ajili ya mtu fulani because god wants me to go there for search for something hata wiki hii uh, for example in this week Mungu aliponiita hapa when God called me here hana mpango na watu wengi has no plan with many people ana mpango na mtu mmoja has a plan with only one person na huyo mtu hajawahi kumiss toka siku ya kwanza and that person has never missed since the first day na kila siku nikimaliza kuhubiri and every day once i finish to akiwa anatoka when he is getting out anasema she, mungu asante kwa ujumbe wa leo she normally say that god thank you for the message of today huyo ndiye mungu alinituma kwa ajili yake that's whom god sent me to him or her katika dunia hii on this earth Usiishi maisha ya kienyeji. Don't live ordinary life. Jifunze kumuuliza Mungu. Uh, learn to ask God. Asa kuna njia nyingi za kumuuliza There Mungu. There are so many ways to ask God. Yeye amesema niulizeni. He says that ask me. Naomba niwatajie baadhi ya njia. Let me mention you some of the ways. Njia ya kwanza, the first way ambayo unaweza kumuuliza Mungu. That you can ask God ni kwa njia ya maombi. Is on prayer. Njia ya pili, the second way, unaweza kumuuliza Mungu. You can ask God ni kwa njia ya maandiko matakatifu. He through the whole scriptures. Njia ya tatu, the third way, unaweza kumuuliza Mungu. That you can ask God ni kwa njia ya ndoto. Is on vision, dreams. Watu wengi tunaota ndoto. Many people do dreams and have Na tujui ya kwamba and you don't know that kuna ndoto zingine. There are some of the dreams zimebeba kesho yetu uh, holds up our tomorrow Ni, nikiwa bariadi when i was there at bariadi nilifundisha somo la ndoto wiki nzima i taught about dreams the whole week wala mbe mnaweza kuingia kwenye magoti tv those who can just enter there to magoti tv tafuteni masomo niliyofundisha bariadi find the lesson that i preached there at bariadi nilifundisha juu ya ndoto I thought about your dreams. Watu wengi tunaota ndoto. Many people do dreams the dream. Lakini hatujui tafsiri zake. You know the interpretation of those dreams. Ndoto zingine. Other dreams. Ni maelekezo ya Mungu kwa ajili ya kesho. God instruction for tomorrow. Ndoto zingine. Other dreams. Ni maelekezo ya Mungu. Is the God instruction kwa ajili ya kesho yako. For your tomorrow. Njia ya nne. The fourth way itakayokusaidia kujua kesho yako which will help you to know about your tomorrow ni kwa njia ya roho mtakatifu is through the whole spirit roho mtakatifu akiingia ndani yetu if the holy spirit enters in us ana uwezo wa kutufunulia hata mambo yajayo is able to reveal for us even for future things anaweza kutufunulia hata mambo yajayo and reveal for future things njia ya tano the fifth way ambayo inaweza kutusaidia kujua hatima yetu which can help to know our destiny ni njia ya sadaka is uh, the way of offering njia ya sadaka the offering sasa hapo kwenye sadaka here on the offering ndio watu wengi hawajaelewa siku ukielewa sadaka vizuri that's why one day if you know the offering very well, naomba nirudie leo let me repeat it today siku ukielewa sadaka vizuri the day you know the offering uh, well hakuna mtu atakulazimisha kutoa sadaka no one will force you to give the offering bali utakuwa na moyo wa utoaji and share you have the heart of giving Yaani utoaji kwako itakuwa ni sehemu ya maisha. The giving to you will be the part of your life. Kuna mtu mmoja hapa kanisani kwenu. There is a certain person here at your church. Naomba nisimtaje. Let me not mention him. 
Yeye huwa ananibariki kwa simu. Normally bless me on phone. Simu on phone. Yaani yeye huwa ananipa simu. Normally give me the phone. Mimi huwa sinunui simu. I don't buy the phone. Huwa ananipa simu. He always gift me the phone. Yuko hapa. Is he here? Naomba nisimtaje. Let me not mention him. Yeye huwa ananipa simu. He always give me the the, the cell phone. Hakana muuliza. I do ask him. Kwa nini unapenda kunipa simu? Why do you always give me this uh, Ananijibu tu wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Respond to me you are the servant of God. Unatakiwa kuwa na simu zinazoingia kila siku. You supposed to have a good cell phone which enters. Kama leo tunaingia kwenye every simu every hii. Today we enter this version. Na wewe lazima uwe kwenye simu. Should have we have this version. Ili uwafikie watu wengi. You know to reach many people. Sasa mimi nilikuwa natamani. I was desiring tuongezeke. Uh, to be to increase kwenye utoaji on giving sio kwa kumpa magoti no, give magoti ila kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu for the work of God tukijua sadaka if we know the offering hiyo milioni 169 that 169 million inayotafutwa kwa ajili ya ujenzi wa kanisa which is being found for this church construction haihitaji nguvu kubwa sana that needs much effort kwa nini? Why? Sadaka the offering imebeba kesho yako. Holds up your tomorrow. Labda mtu mmoja hajanielewa. Uh, maybe someone has not understood me. Naomba niwape story. Let me give you a story. Kwenye kitabu cha Mwanzo sura ya 15. In the book of Genesis chapter 15. Mwanzo sura ya 15. Genesis chapter 15. Siku moja, one day, Mungu akamwambia Ibrahim, God told Abraham, toka hapa ulipo, leave from this place uende katika nchi nyingine nitakayokuonyesha na huko ukifika and once you reach there nitakubariki i will bless you nitakubariki i will bless you na wewe utakuwa taifa kubwa and will be a big nation ibrahim akamuuliza mungu abraham asked god ukisoma kuanzia mstari wa kwanza if you read from verse 1 ibrahim akamuuliza mungu abraham asked god ya kwamba that Sawa utanibariki. Yes, you will bless me. Lakini mimi sina mtoto. But I have no child. Je, hizo baraka zitaenda wapi? Where will those blessings go? Hizo baraka zitaenda wapi? Where will those blessings go? Au ni huyu mjakazi wangu? Oh, this is the maid of mine. Huyu Damascus. This is Damascus. Ambaye ninaishi pamoja naye. Whom I live together with. Ndio umemwandaa kuwa mrithi wangu. The one who are prepared to be my word. Mungu akamwambia. Uh, God told him. Huyo hatakurithi. That one will not inherit you. Bali kuna mtoto. But there is a, a child. Atatoka kwenye viuno vyako. He come out of your waist. Huyo ndiye atakayekurithi. He's the one who will be the heir. Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Ibrahim. Abraham akamwamini Mungu. Uh, trusted God. Lakini sikiliza. But listen. Mungu anamwambia. God tells. Acha vyote ulivyonavyo. Live all things you have. Uende katika nchi nitakayokuonyesha. Go to the land that I will show you. Ibrahim ajui ni wapi? Abraham didn't know where. Lakini Mungu ameshamwambia. But God has already told him. Nitakubariki. I will bless you. Nitakubariki. I will bless you. Nitakupa na mtoto. I will give you a child. Atakuwa mrithi wako. Will be your heir. Nenda. Go. Yaani sawa sawa na mtu yuko hapa. This is just like a person is here. Mfano rafiki yangu mzee wa kanisa. Is my friend church elder. Umekaa zako hapa Buhongwa. You are just staying here at Buhongwa. Umeshajenga na kajumba kako. You build even your room. Una biashara yako pale. You have your business there. Kana kuingizia mkate wa kila siku. You get daily bread there. Alafu asubuhi unaamka. Then uh, for the morning you wake up. Unamwambia mke wako ya kwamba nimeota ndoto. I have a dream last night. Nimeota ndoto. I have a dream. Tuondoke hapa Buongo. It has been from Bugongo here. Tuache kila kitu hapa. We have to leave everything here. Mke wako anakuuliza. Your wife asks you. Tunaenda wapi? Where are we going? Mzee unamjibu hata mimi sijui. Then you ask ah I suppose I don't know. Hata ninapoenda sipajui. Uh, where we are going I don't know. Ila tu nimeota ndoto. But I had a dream. Mungu amesema huko. God said that over there atatubariki. We will bless us. Mke wako anakuuliza ni wapi? Your wife asks you where? Ambia mke wangu hata mimi sijui ni wapi. My wife I don't know even myself where. Lakini anza kufunga nguo. But it start to collect your clothes. Tuondoke. We have to quit from. Amesema atatubariki. I said he will bless us. Unadhani jambo rais. You know is a easier thing. 
Unadhani jambo jepesi? Is it an easy thing? Unajua kuna story unaweza kuzisoma kwenye Biblia. You know there is so you can read from the Bible. Lakini hebu jaribu kuvaa viatu vya hiyo story. Just try now to live upon that is a story. Nakumbuka umeota ndoto. And remember it's just a dream. Nayo Na maelekezo umepewa kwenye ndoto. And that instructions were given through the, the dream. Ukiamka asubuhi. When you wake up in the morning, unaweza ukasema hizi ni ndoto tu. You may say ah, this is just a dream. Shindu wa shetani. A uh, devil be defeated. Shindu wa shetani. Be defeated devil. Unajua kuna watu mnadharau ndoto sana. Some, nobody have despised the church here. Lakini ndoto zingine. But other dreams zimebeba hatima yako. Holds up your destiny. Zimebeba kesho yako. Holds up your tomorrow. Kati ya kitu ambacho nimemuomba Mungu. One of the things that I have asked to God. Ni sidharau ndoto. Let me not despise the dream. Na Mungu aliponipa mafunuo ya ndoto. And when, once God give me the vision of dreams. Siku hizi sidharau ndoto. Nowadays I don't ignore the dreams. Ninapoota ndoto. Once a dream na nitakuja niwapatie ishara I will give you the signs za ndoto ambazo unatakiwa uzifuatilie the, the dreams that you have to follow up them Hebu sikiliza just listen Ibrahim Abraham akaambiwa was told ya kwamba huko unakokwenda that where you are going utapata mtoto you will get a child lakini utabarikiwa you will be blessed kwa hiyo acha hivi vyote leave all these things here nenda huko go there utabarikiwa you will be blessed Ibrahim Abraham kwa sababu anamjua Mungu because he knows the Lord na anajua ya kwamba and he knows that kesho yake is tomorrow iko mikononi kwa Mungu it is in God's hand kabla hajafanya maamuzi before he make decisions lazima arudi kwenye ile fungu tulilosoma yes to go back to the verse that we read Mungu yatakayotokea baadaye ask God what will happen later Ibrahim akamuuliza Mungu Abraham asked the God kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 15 the book of Genesis chapter 1 mwanzo sura ya 15 Genesis chapter 15 mstari wa nane vasi 8 angalia swali la Ibrahim look on the question of Ibrahim Biblia inasema the Bible says akasema e bwana wa e bwana Mungu Ibrahim akasema e bwana Mungu nipateje kujua ya kwamba nitairithi naomba kujua kesho yangu itakuwaje nitapataje kujua ya kwamba nitairithi how shall i know that i will inherit it sawa mungu mimi sina shida yes god i have no problem mimi nimekuamini i have trusted you lakini pamoja na yote hayo but uh, uh, we, together with this one naogopa kuchekwa i fear to be laughed at naweza nikaondoka i can depart nikaaga majirani i just fell my neighbors jamani majirani eh that my neighbors mungu wangu ataenda kunibariki huko god is going to help to bless me mimi naondoka hapa i'm leaving from this place alafu kesho nikarudi then tomorrow i come back sina kitu having nothing majirani watanicheka my my neighbors will laugh at me ibrahim anaenda kwa mungu abraham goes to god anaambia nitapataje kujua As, how will they know this ya kwamba haya yote ulioniambia that all these you have told me nitayarithi i will inherit nitayapokea i will receive maana ke ni nini what does it mean ibrahim was more concerned about his tomorrow yani abraham alikuwa anahusika sana na kesho yake He was so concerned about his tomorrow. Not only to get out from his home. Sio tu kuondoka kwenye makazi yake. Before anything. Kabla ya chochote. Ibrahim was asking about his future. Ibrahim alikuwa anaulizia juu ya kesho yake. He was more concerned about his future. Naomba nizungumze na mtu hapa. Let me talk with one person here. Usiishi maisha ya mkumbo. Don't live the life of foreign others. Don't copy others lifestyle. Usiige maisha ya watu wengine. Usione ya kwamba fulani anauza viti. Don't see that someone is selling the chairs. Na wewe ukaenda kuchukua hela uanze kuuza viti. You take money they start to sell the chairs. Usione mtu anauza nguo. Na wewe ukatafuta hela uuze nguo. You find man to sell the clothes. Usione mtu anafuga kuku. Don't see a person keeping the Na wewe ukasema nianze kufuga kuku. Keep the chicken. Kabla aujaanza kesho yako. Before you start your tomorrow. Muulize Mungu. Ask God. Ibrahim aliuliza. Abraham asked him. 
Ndio maana kuna wakristo hapa. That's why they are Christian here. Mambo yenu yanafeli. Your things are corrupting. Mambo yenu yanaanguka. Your things are corrupting. Mnakurupuka. You just rush. Sikilizeni nyewe wasichana. Listen you uh, ladies and girls. Kabla hujampa nafasi huyo kijana. Before you give a chance that uh, man. Rudi miguni kwa Yesu. God just feed. Usipofanya hivyo. You don't do that. Mapenzi yatakutesa. You the love will disturb you. Na mapenzi yanaumiza. The love hurts. Mapenzi yanaumiza. The love hurts. Mapenzi yanauma. The love pain. Sikilizeni nyewe watu vijana. Listen you youths. Usisikilize tu maneno ya mtu. Don't listen the words from a Kuna person. watu wana maneno mazuri. There are people have got sweet words. Lakini hawana kesho nzuri kwa ajili yao. But have no better tomorrow because for you. Kuna watu there are some people wanapokuja kuomba mkopo kwako. When they come to ask you to lend them some money. Usichukulie tu yale maneno anayoyaongea. Don't consider the words he or she speak. Kuna watu wana maneno mazuri. There are some people have better words. Lakini nia zao ni mbaya. But their will are bad. Kabla aujampa mtu huyo mkopo. Before you give that person the loan. Nenda kwa Mungu uliza kwanza. Go to God and ask him first. Ibrahim, Abraham, anamuuliza Mungu. Ask God. Nitapataje kujua? How will I know ya kwamba nitairithi nchi? That I will inherit the land. Nitapataje kujua? How will I know ya kwamba nitairithi nchi? That I will inherit the land. Naomba nimalize hivi. Let me finish this. Baada Ibrahim kumuuliza Mungu swali. After Abraham ask this question to God. Angalia jibu la Mungu. Look on the answer of God. Mungu alimjibuje? How did God answer him? Mstari wa 9. Uh, verse 9. Na mstari wa 10. At 9 to 10. Akamwambia, akamwambiaje? Unipatie ndama wa miaka mitatu. Hebu angalia, angalia kitu hicho cha jambo. Ibrahim anauliza nitapataje kujua? Abraham asks how will they know? Ya kwamba kesho yangu itakuwa nzuri. That my tomorrow will be better. Mungu anamwambia hivi. God tells him. This. Ukitaka kujua kesho yako. If you want to know about your tomorrow. Nipatie ndama uh, just give me a uh, haifa wa miaka mitatu of 3 years old anaendelea anasemaje it continues like this uh-huh. na mbuzi mke wa miaka mitatu na mbuzi mke wa miaka mitatu uh, na kondoo mume wa miaka mitatu na kondoo mume wa miaka mitatu na mwana wa njiwa arudia na na mwana njiwa na mwana njiwa akampatia hao wote akampatia hao wote akawapasua vipande viwili hebu sikiliza just Ib- listen ibrahimu anauliza abraham asks nataka kuijua kesho yangu i want more about my tomorrow mungu anamwambia god tells him ukitaka kuijua kesho yangu i want to know about your tomorrow nitole sadaka give me the offering ni pesa daka give me the offering ni pesa daka give me the offering naomba nikwambie kitu leo i want to tell you something today kuna vitu vingine there are some of the things huwezi kuvipata you can't get them kama hujatoa sadaka before you give the offering kabla hujaanzisha biashara before you start the business toa sadaka give the offering kabla hujaingia kwenye mahusiano before the relationship toa sadaka give the offering kabla hujampeleka mtoto wako kuanza form 1 before take your child to start form 1 toa sadaka give the offering for kabla hujampeleka mtoto wako kuanza form 5 before your child starting form 5 toa sadaka give the offering for him kabla hujaanza kujenga nyumba before the house itole sadaka give the offering ili uwe na kesho nzuri better tomorrow anza na sadaka start with the offering unganisha sadaka connect with the offering ni mwaikona kuna watu kanisa there are some people at the church swala la utoaji the issue of giving ni kitu kizito kuikui is a heavy thing wenzetu wametuacha mbali our fellow have gone very far wenzetu kila ibada our fellow every service ina sadaka has got the offering sisi hapa we here tukiweka kapu la sadaka sasa hivi we put the vessel for offering here lazima watasema baraza likae kwanza we say the church body should meet first hiyo era inaenda wapi where is that money going kumbe tunasahau oh, we will never forget ili ibada ikamiliki you know the, the service to be complete lazima iwe na matoleo pia should have also the offering sisi huku 
Uh, Swala la utoaji wa sadaka. The issue of giving the offering. Linasubiri Jumamosi. It waits up to Saturday. Yaani tuna picha ndogo sana juu ya sadaka. We have a very little picture on offering. Tuna picha ndogo sana juu ya sadaka. Very about uh, offering. Ningepata nafasi ya kukaa wiki nzima hapa. You have a time to say one week. Yaani wiki nyingine tena. And the second week again. Tungeifunua sadaka katika picha. We could reveal the offering no in the picture. Kitu. I want to tell you something. Siwezi kuja kuhubiri buongo. I cannot come to preach at Buhongwa. Kabla sijatoa sadaka kwa ajili ya mkutano wa Buhongo. Before I give the offering at Buhongo meeting. Sijui kama muhando yupo. I don't know if muhando is around here. Nimemuona pale mwinjilisti uh, Muhando. I've seen evangelist Muhando over Naomba there. Naomba nikupe usiri nyingine mwinjilisti Muhando. The secret my evangelist. Najua unaalikwa mikutano mingi. I know you invited many meetings. Kabla uja enda kwenye mkutano wa wote jifunze kuutolea sadaka utolee sadaka give the offering for that meeting mungu akuunganishe god to connect you na huo mkutano that meeting kabla ujaanzisha jambo lolote you start anything else litolee sadaka give the offering for that litolee sadaka give the offering for that wakati mimi natafuta mke wa kuoa we find the wife to marry wakati natafuta mke wa kuoa we find the wife to marry mimi ni miongoni mwa vijana ambao among the, the, the men who wazazi wengi many parents walitamani nioe binti zao they desired me to get married to their wando anafahamu Muhando knows. Kwa sababu wakati wote tulikuwa tunaishi naye. That time we are living together. Kuna baadhi ya matajiri. There some of the rich men. Walikuwa wananialika kwenye nyumba zao. Right in their house. Ili nianze mahusiano na mabinti zao. With the ladies. Kwa sababu walijua. Because they knew. Ya kwamba binti yetu akiolewa na huyu. That if our girls are get married to this. Atakuwa amepata kijana wa maana. Got a very nice man. Ngoja nikwambie kitu. Let me tell something. Mungu akanielekeza kwa mwanamke. God directed me to a woman. Ambaye ningekuletea leo. If I could bring her to you. Sema magoti huyu afai kwa wako. Say uh, God this one does have to be you. Lakini unajua ni kwa nini? You know why? Wakati natafuta mke. When I was looking for the wife nilitoa sadaka I gave the offering Nikambia Mungu I told I said God Naomba unipe mke I want to give me a wife atakaye beba kesho yangu We will hold up my tomorrow Mimi ni mhubiri wa injili I'm the gospel preacher Nataka nipate mwanamke I want to get a wife atakaye kuwa mkono wangu wa shirika Be my partner Atakaye beba utume ulioweka ndani yangu Oh thank you Jesus Asante Yesu For the gift of Veronica Thank you Lord Asante for the gift of my wife she is my support full support you know what sometimes the message which i'm delivering to you veronica is the one veronica who composes ambaye anaenda mahubiri kuna mahubiri mengine nikinayo yahubiri yanatengenezwa na mke wangu kuna wakati nikihubiri sometimes when i preach huwa ananifuatilia nikifika tu nyumbani veronica ananiambia veronica tells me hiki na hiki na hiki na hiki this and this and this and this usikirudie tena kukitamka anza kutamka hivi anza kuongea hivi Niliomba I asked for Mungu nipe mke God give me a wife atakaye beba kesho ya injili carry my tomorrow Mimi nimeishi na Muando I've lived with Muando Muando ananifahamu toka nikiwa mdogo when I was young Muando alinipokea nikiwa mdogo Mimi when I was young Mwende mkamuulize Muando Mwende ask Muando Magoti wa sasa hivi The magoti of nowadays Na magoti wa miaka 10 iliyopita Atakwambia ni magoti wawili tofauti Tu magoti different Nenda kamuulize muhando na mnasali naye hapa lakini hata kama sio hivyo niliwahi kuja hapa karibia miaka 4 iliyopita angalia mafundisho na yahubiri leo na mafundisho niloyahubiri miaka 4 iliyopita ni vitu viwili tofauti moja ya sababu ni mke wangu is my wife ananipiga nati kweli kweli normally tighten me hata kuvaa 
even how to dress ananiambia leo usivae hivyo tells me that today don't dress this way ukivaa hivyo utaonekana kama upinde wa mvua if you wear like this will be like rainbow ukivaa hivyo if you wear like this utakuwa kama gift paper will be like cartasia uh, ananiambia mvua hicho he told me that take of this toa hiyo tai uh, remove that tai hata nikiwa safari when i am the journey kabla sijaenda kuhubiri before i go to preach ananiambia nipigie picha she told me she told me that nione umevaaje once see the way you appear kuna siku aliwahi kunivua mpaka socks there is one day he just akaniambia toa hizo socks remove those socks haziendani na mkanda does not match with the berries sasa nikamwambia veronica i asked her veronica socks zimefichwa huko socks are hidden there nani atajua socks nilizovaa ziendani na mkanda socks that are made akaniambia nisikilize mimi told me that listen to me Lazima ujue kumechisha. You have not know how to match. Kabla uja itafuta kesho yako. Before you find it for your tomorrow. Unganisha sadaka. Connect the offering. Sadaka. The offering. Sadaka. The offering. Jamani si Mungu atubariki asubuhi ya leo. Why don't God bless us this morning? Mungu atubariki asubuhi ya leo. God bless us this morning. Kesho yako. You are tomorrow iko mikononi mwa Mungu it is in god's hand haiko kwako it is not in you hata mimi magoti i been i magoti sijui baada dakika tano nini kitatokea i don't know what will happen after 5 minutes lakini Mungu anajua but god knows mpendwa mtazamaji uh, dear viewer lengo la mikutano hii the target of this meeting ni kumaliza kanisa la Mungu hapa Bungoma is to accomplish the construction of the church of account number inaonekana kwenye screen yako account number is there below your screen toa sadaka just give the offering tatizo la kwa kristo the problem of many christians wanadhani sadaka they think the offering inapelekwa mahali tu anakosali it goes where you worship naomba leo nikubadilishie let me change you sadaka the offering inatolewa kanisani is offered at church lakini inatumiwa na Mungu but is being used by God unaweza ukaileta buhongo you can bring your offering here at buhongo sawa itapokelewa buhongo yes to be received here at buhongo lakini atakayetumia ni Mungu but the one who use is God kwa lugha nyingine in another language hutoi sadaka kwa ajili ya buhongo you don't give offering for buhongo unatoa sadaka kwa ajili ya Mungu never for God Hutoi sadaka ili watu wa buongo wajenge kanisa. Unatoa sadaka ili Mungu apate kuitumia. Kwa hiyo usiangalie ya kwamba wewe unasali wapi. Don't look where you worship. Naongea na watazamaji. I talk with the viewer. Wewe usiangalie ya kwamba ah magoti unatuambia tujenge kanisa la Buhongo. Wakati na sisi la kwetu alijaisha. Huu jumbe bwana amekufikishia wewe. Kwa ajili ya Buhongo. Hii ni saa ya Buhongo. Tumia account namba ya Buhongo. Tuma sadaka yako. Kwa ajili ya kesho. Kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Ulishawahi kuji Lisa. Have you ever asked yourself? Hivi ukifa, if you die. Maisha ya watoto wako yatakuwaaje? How will the life of your children be? Hivi unapokaa una, una unajiuliza. When you sit, you ask Hivi siku ukifa, when you will die. Hiyo biashara yako itaendaje? Where how that will business be? Ulishawahi kukaa ukajiuliza? Have you ever sit and ask yourself? Hivi ukifa, if you die. Mke wako, your wife. Ndugu zako watamchukuliaje? How will your relatives consider her? Unajua usione leo ndugu zako wanamchekea mke wako. Don't see your relatives are laughing at you. Wanamchekea ndugu yako mke wako. Kwa sababu bado uko hai. Because you are still alive. Siku ukifa. The day you will die. Ndio utakumbuka somo hili. Is when you remember this sermon. Kesho yako. You are tomorrow. Iko mikononi mwa Mungu. Is in God's hand. Tafuteni wajane watawambia ask this widow will tell you kuna mama kule kwetu kanisani kwetu buzuruga there is one man there at my church buzuruga aliwahi kunyang'anywa gari he was uh, taking the car from na mashemeji with the uh, brothers in law wakamnyang'anya gari they confiscated the car wakaambia hii gari ilikuwa ya kaka yetu said this car was of our wewe mwanamke ukuwa na chochote you man you had nothing aliyekuwa na hela alikuwa ni kaka yetu the one who had money was our brothers Hujaelewa ninachokiongea. Yule mama alikuja kanisani hata That's viatu hana. Akalia. Nikamwambia mama mbona unalia? Akanambia magoti. Mashemeji. Wamenivamia. Wamesema hizi mali. 
ni za kaka yao is for their brother alafu wamedai and then they have claimed mimi ndio niliua ndugu yao ili nichukue mali naomba niongee na mtu hapa kesho yako iweke mikononi kwa Mungu kesho ya mke wako iweke mikononi mwa Mungu kuna wakati ninalia nikiomba mfano example mimi ni mjita I am a jita by tribe. Mimi ni mjita kabisa? I am completely jita. Yaani mjita original. I am original jita. Mama mjita? Mother is jita. Baba mjita. Father is a jita. Mke wangu, my wife, ni mfipa original. He is the original fipa kutoka Sumba wangu. From Sumba wanga. Sumba wanga. Wanga. Hivi mwanga ukisikia sumba wanga Once kitu gani cha kwanza kinakuja kichuani? Once you hear sumba wanga what comes in your mind? Itoke leo mama Liri ninakufa. It happens today you die. Kama sijajua kuombea kesho ya Veronica. If I don't know to pray for Veronica tomorrow. Unadhani hata kamatu wa uchawi. You think you will not be told that is a witch? Mwaka 2017 2017 nilipata ajali mbaya sana. I got a very bad accident. Ajali mbaya sana. Very bad accident. Kuna baadhi ya wajita. There are some of the jitters. Wali connect ajali yangu na Veronica. They connected my accident with Veronica. Wakasema unaona damu hiyo mwagika hii. You see you see this bloodshed mke wake mke wake. His wife his wife. Ndio maana kila wakati. That's why most of the time ninaomba kesho. I pray tomorrow ya mke wangu na watoto wangu of my wife and my children ndio maana kwenye kila birthday ya watoto wangu that's why you see in all the mfano tarehe 25 mwezi wa 3 ni birthday ya mtoto wangu wa pili the birthday of my second child wakati mke, mke wangu anahangaika na keki when my wife is very busy with the cake mimi naangaika na maombi na sadaka very busy with the prayers and offering kwa ajili ya kesho ya mtoto wangu for the tomorrow of my child Ma piani ma pensi aia a subui tu ona io sa sa ki sa ulenga quasi ma tu anga chi la si Mungu mwenyewe yale unaotamani
Let God who desire him to do for you. Tell God what disturbs you in your mind. Tell God what you want to see in this week. Uh, just then you are here. Thank you, Father, for this morning. Tunaziweka mikononi mwa. Put them before your hands. Kesho za familia. Uh, tomorrow for families. Tunaziweka mikononi mwa. Put in your hands. 
ni kweli kama wazazi umetupatia zawadi ya watoto lakini hatujui hatima yao itakuwaje tunaweka watoto wetu mikononi mwako tunaomba baba uwasaidie kila mzazi hapa anatamani watoto wake wawe watu wema wawe watu wenye akili saidia watoto wetu wale walioko kwenye ndoa hatujui nani atakufa kabla ya mwenzake baba ikitokea mmoja amelala kabla ya mwenzake kesho ya huyo atakaye achwa ikae mikononi mwako lakini wote hapa tunaijua kesho yetu ni kupata uzima wa milele tusaidie baba tuwe na kesho ya umilele tuwe na kesho ya kukurithi na kurithi uzima wa milele tusaidie Jehova kesho yetu iwe nzuri kuna wafanya biashara hapa saidia kesho ya biashara zao kuna watu walioajiliwa saidia kesho ya ajira zao kuna wakulima wasaidie kesho ya mazao yao kuna wavuvi wasaidie kesho ya uvuvi wao lakini kuna watu hapa baba hawana kazi wanatamani kesho ikawe nzuri kwao baba pokea kesho yao kuna watu hapa mfalme wanatamani kuwa na nyumba wamechoka kupanga wasaidie wajenge baba tupe kesho yenye furaha mbariki mchungaji david mbwambo bariki wazee wa kanisa la buhongo kama alivyo tuombea muhando kila mtu baba ukambariki siku ya leo tulete tena kesho tujifunze kutoka kwa ndivyo tunavyonyenyekea kwa na kuomba kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amen amina bwana yesu asifiwe naamini sasa tumebarikiwa na ujumbe asubuhi ya leo mtazamaji hapa tumefika mwisho wa ibada ya asubuhi ya leo Nikushukuru kwa kuendelea kuungana nasi na kuendelea kuchagua magoti TV kuwa kituo cha kocha ya matangazo. Nikukumbushe ku share huu kwa wengine kwa kutumia YouTube. Ingia YouTube channel, amini ingia kwenye ukurasa wa YouTube katika simu yangu, andika magoti TV na kisha ingia pale utakuta maneno yameandikwa subscribe, unaweza kubonyeza pale na utakapokuwa hewani siku yoyote matangazo yatakufikia pale lakini chini kuna kuwa na maneno madogo yameandikwa lakini kuna neno limeandikwa share kibonyeza pale itakuletea sehemu za kushare kama ni WhatsApp, Instagram na sehemu nyingine utakuwa umefikisha ujumbe huo kwa watu mbalimbali nambari za simu ama nambari za account zinakuwa zikipita chini ya kiangaza chako unaweza kutumia nambari hizo kwa ajili ya sadaka ya ujenzi wa kanisa hili kwa kufikia hapo na la ziada kwa nyumba ya timu nzima jina langu ni Sara Mazigo nikutakie asubuhi njema